Good morning, everyone. It's Benicia, your community outreach specialist, and today I am back again with the new member orientation guy. class. Awkward English. Hi, guys. Hello. Look at that. Look at that. And today they are going to be qualifying for their carbine, whatever the heck that is. We're going to find out. I know it's different from their SIG, and they are already SIG qualified as of a couple weeks ago. But stay tuned. Let's see what we can get into. It's an absolutely beautiful day. I think it's pretty much like a 70% chance of rain, but uh, it's cold and wet, and we're out here to do the thing. <laughs> So in a couple of months, hopefully, this will not be the classroom and there will be actual chairs and desks and indoor plumbing and everything rather than our men and women sitting on the floor with a projector on the wall. But you have to start somewhere, right? Obviously, I already talked about it. They have to make a decision. They want you to officer A, officer B. And in return, they have two guns facing back at them. Also, the guy on the right, he can see in storefronts. Uh, kind of Okay, everyone, so while the guys are inside doing their PowerPoint presentation because the weather is absolutely trash this morning, I figured I would just give you guys an update on the four detention guys that we had. So they are done with the new member orientation class because when you go to the detention, their version of NMO is a lot shorter. Um, they are in their own FTO program. Um, so when you go on the road, you're in a four month program. So you're basically riding with someone and there are different phases that you have to work through to pass to successfully be on the road on your own. So they have their own version of that. It's a bit shorter, but they still go through the same phases and everything like that. So, I mean, if you guys want me to break it down, maybe I'll talk to them once they actually finish their FTO program um, because you know their faces so that you guys can get an update of what they've been through and what it's actually like. So, yeah, stay tuned. Everyone, I am with Corporal Eric Jones, dun dun, who is a part of the training unit and assisting with the NMO new member orientation class. And he's gonna basically break down the PowerPoint that the guys did, the two PowerPoints, and what it was about, why was it important, what did they learn this morning? So this morning we did the small units tactics uh, PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. it, it goes over how to um, make room entries and clearing rooms. Okay. Um, that's basically, that literally is it in a nutshell. It, yes. I somewhat paid attention. I learned a couple of things. I learned you stack up in a door, then you spread out. Correct. That's basically, yeah. That, that was, that was great. What else did they learn? Uh, they also did low light tactics, using oh. your flashlights, mm -hmm. when to use, when not to use. Not to blind not, your partner. Not to blind your partner or, or illuminate yourself. your partner mm -hmm. as they go around, so. Some of it I feel like might have been common sense, but. We have to go over everything to ensure that nothing is forgotten. Common sense is not so common anymore. Apparently not. It's 2019 and I don't know sometimes when I'm just... But it'll all come together for them tomorrow mm -hmm. and Friday because that's when they're gonna apply. So. What are they, tomorrow I heard, I'm not gonna be out there with them filming, but they are doing a, what are they doing? Yeah, tomorrow's basically room clearing, mm -hmm. small units working with each other, mm -hmm. how to move through hallways. Okay. Um, how to communicate without talking. Or, or, or something like that? Softly. Softly. Uh, and room, I adjust how they enter the rooms, not staying in the fatal funnel in the doorways. Okay, okay. And then Friday is active an active shooter. shooter. I will be out there for all of you and I will show footage from that. After the shotgun shootout, Friday's gonna be a long day for me. Yeah. Gonna be a long day for you. It will. I feel like it's always but I, a long I, I love these two days. Yeah? Are these some of your, like, your favorite days from the NMO class? Pretty much, yes. Really? I, I loved I, OC Spray Day. I, I I actually would like this to be like two weeks because there's so much you could teach a student on this. That's awesome. But we just don't have the time. So. Oh, because I was going to say, put it in the suggestion box. Mm. I would vouch for you. I would be like, I vote for that. I don't, I don't think Bushino would go. Oh. Or Bushino would like that, so. Yeah, it might be a lot. But that was easy. Thank you. And also, say hi to all of our followers. This is the first time you've been on here. Hello. Hello. That's, mm -hmm. It's a late introduction, but an introduction nonetheless.
you. It's PPE time and personal protective eyewear, personal protective earwear. So basically, if I come out on my target, I fire my two rounds, pop up, and then I take that extra second, make sure I got a good sight picture, and take a good accurate shot of that head. All right, you want to make sure it's a good and accurate shot. It shouldn't be pop, pop, pop. It should be pop, pop, pop. Make sure it counts. Okay, everyone, I am with Deputy Trainee Wardell. Hello. Boom, and he is going <laughs> to give you guys an update on what they've done since last time we saw you. When yeah, was the last time we saw you. You were here on our, probably our worst OC. day that we've gone through so far. I thought so it was far. beautiful. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. I don't beautiful. know. <laughs> OC's Maybe you did. Again. Like, I know our followers, they were rooting for you guys. You guys yeah. are absolutely great. Well, no, I really appreciate it. It's been really good uh, having you out and and being there with us Thanks. and uh, I appreciate, appreciate you guys that. joining us so it's really fun to have you guys out and watching us i love that um, our followers are committed okay yeah. well yeah, yeah no that's what i've seen that's what i've seen <laughs> so yeah basically what we've been doing is uh getting familiar with our agency issued firearms mm -hmm. and uh, doing a lot of training uh, we have a lot of guys out here that uh, have vast amounts of experience mm -hmm. and knowledge and uh I, you know, feel really blessed to work for Pasco Sheriff's mm -hmm. Office. Hashtag and, Pasco uh, Proud. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. And uh, yeah, they just, they, they've been giving us tons of knowledge when it comes to the firing range and how we should stand, mm -hmm. um, discretionary, you know, mm -hmm. whatever it is. And, uh, you know, it's, it's been, a, it's been a good time. Good stuff. So you've, you've learned something. Our yeah, trainers, absolutely. Our trainers know what they're doing. Oh yeah. Good uh, stuff. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. It's, uh, I feel blessed to have, uh, have, have these guys to, uh, Te teaching us, uh, you know, the skills mm -hmm. and everything that we need uh, out there. So I mean, I gotta come out here and learn how to shoot. Like, <laughs> whoa! Like once, I feel like once I've made it in like a Hollywood film, and I don't need my own stunt double. I've made it. Yeah, no, small goals. You small need goals. to get out here and shoot. Right? I yeah. should. Maybe next time. Who knows? I don't know. She always says that too. She's always. Wow, oh wow, well, maybe next wow. time I'll get sprayed. Okay. <laughs> we need to get her to get pepper sprayed. I'm just like, if I terrible. keep doing everything that they do, I might as well go on the road. You might as well. Do we agree? Do we not agree? I mean, comment. comment definitely. I think, I think you'd be great I what, what think, do they think i guarantee I you know. they what want do you, you out guys there? think let, let let us know should <laughs> i keep doing this or should i be on the road i mean you could do tweet alongs with me there's there that go. who knows but thanks for talking to us thanks for taking the time no problem guys thank you guys deputy trainee wardell i'm gonna let him go back and shoot before he gets in trouble <laughs> <laughs> Mildly. <laughs> <laughs> so casual. Okay, everyone, I have Deputy Trainee Batcher, who has the most incredible story, first of all, and I love it. I'm not gonna say he's one of my favorites, but he might be one of my favorites. I like that. Yeah, I but like say that. hello to our YouTube fam. How we doing, everyone? Now, okay, 
introduce yourself to the people. Okay. Tell them, how'd you, how'd you become Pasco Proud? How'd you make it down here? Well, I'm a retired uh, New York City police officer. I did 23 years up in New York. Oh, wow, and, I didn't know that. Um, when we planned on relocating down to Florida, uh, we scoped out Wesley Chapel area. Mm -hmm. We liked that area. And uh, where I was going to move my family, I wanted to check out the law enforcement agency that covers that. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, and you know. Actually, I saw you and Deputy Cormac <laughs> and all your videos mm -hmm. and got me really into the agency, so mm -hmm. I investigated it. So they're doing something, they're working. They're, well, it they worked mm -hmm. for me. I love it. It's got me here. Um, and the agency is professional, it's mm -hmm. awesome. I love it. Everyone here, the training is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. The uh, firearms instructor, <laughs> amazing. Absolutely amazing. Got me on target. That's what I've heard. You're not even the first one that I've heard say that today. Like, my <laughs> oh, gosh, was, it might be a trend. I was like all over the paper. If it wasn't for these <laughs> the Our trainers, yeah, because awesome. they totally aren't off to the side, you know, right. given any sort of hints or anything like that. But I am so glad that you made it down. So, guys, I'm just saying, move to Pasco. It works. Why it's not? It's great. Move down to Pasco. <laughs> exactly. Listen, you get to meet some Famous people like Denise. Oh, I mean, no, oh no, 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 <laughs> no. That famous word. You're just gonna trash that. <laughs> but thanks for talking to us, and you guys will see more of him in the future. All right, take Ooh. care, everyone. <laughs> Pay attention. We've all done the stick drill, we did with the pistol. So the starting point will be at the 25 yard line, the firing line will be at the 10 yard line. We'll have an instructor on each side back here, an instructor on each side up there. Uh, muzzle discipline, safeties. All that stuff that we've been practicing for the past three days. We're gonna fire till all sticks are down. So obviously there's gonna be a last place, but we're gonna fire till it's down, all right? Anything on the rules? Everyone understand? Any questions on the rules? Shoot the stick. It's pretty complicated. I don't guys, you guys have to make your guns safe before you turn and get off that line. Remember, coming up on the fire your round. Safe goes on, muzzle goes in the safe direction, <coughs> then turn yeah. and go back. With the pistol. All if right. you're hitting safety as you're turning, you're gonna stop and do 10 push-ups. And cost your team time. Safety. Safety on, muzzle discipline, turn and go back. Alright? Everyone good? Yes, sir. sir. Alright, with your 130 round mag, make your weapons hot. Load and make ready. Proud of the 14 minutes. <laughs> but there you go. there's that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> that. Yeah. <laughs> Solid fourth place. Okay, everyone, I hope that you enjoyed what you got to see from today's new member orientation class and their carbine shooting and qualifications. It's been a really interesting day. You got to hear some of the stuff that they were doing beforehand. I thought they, they were moving in the opposite direction. If you haven't liked this video already, go ahead and do so. Subscribe, why not at this point? I mean, if you like the videos, you might as well. And comment if you thought something was interesting and I will see you guys next time. Hey, did everybody shoot?